Hello, this is Tony Riggs with Go Engineer, and I'm going to show you a quick little video that shows some of the advanced toolpath generation tools that we have for our Insight software that powers our Stratasys 3D printer. For most times, we can come in and just hit the green flag to do all the slicing and support material uh, creation and toolpath creation for getting our part ready to print. But from time to time, we might need to come in and manually do some toolpath generation. There's a couple of places where these icons are located. We've got a couple icons up here on our main toolbar or also over here on our right side of our, of our screen. This first icon is going to go through and slice up the part in the layers. It happens fairly quickly. We can come in and page up and down through the layers. But notice we don't have any of the tool paths generated yet. We'll get to that here in a little bit. Uh, the next icon over is going to go in and slice the part up still but it, it applies a wall thickness filter so if we have geometry that's in a certain range where a tool path can't get placed in there it can actually uh, beef up or change the geometry to allow some tool paths to fit inside the geometry the next icon over we'll figure out where we need support material we'll get to that in a little bit uh, but the icon we're going to use next actually goes through and creates the tool paths when we do the tool path, path creation now, it's going to go through and because we just have the model material created, uh, it's going to be a, a much kind of simpler look at the, at the part. It's not going to have all the support material tool paths uh, getting in the way of what we're trying to see. So this might be an easier way to go through and, and troubleshoot shoot and look at the, the geometry that we have. I mean, scroll up and down through the, the geometry and maybe even come in and shade the tool paths and see maybe, eh, we maybe want to come in and change our, our raster thickness to maybe get a, a bead up in the tip a little bit, a little bit better. Okay. The next thing we want to do is maybe come in and look at the support material after the changes we've made to the, the model material tool paths are done. This is going to come in and delete the tool paths, but any changes that we've made with custom groups are still going to be applied. Now we go in, we can see the, the support material in there, uh, but again, we don't have the tool paths generated. So if we generate the tool paths again, now we see the support material laid in there uh, alongside the model material. So again, sometimes this manual toolpath creation is, is nice. Let's just go in and troubleshoot, especially on a complicated model. If it takes a long time to generate the model and support material toolpaths, just generating this, uh, the model material support paths uh, can be sped up by eliminating the support side of things. So this was Tony Riggs from Go Engineer, and I hope you found this video to be, to be helpful.